We are just five days away until week one of the high school football season. For the Sterling Golden Warriors, there's new uniforms this year, but the same goals. TV6's Kevin Kaur has the story. The ending of the Sterling Golden Warriors season last year has left a bitter taste in the mouths of this year's team. Didn't really like the way it ended, especially with the shutout. It was like a wake up call for all the like juniors, sophomores. The feeling of that loss, just knowing like that was our last game of the season. Let's come out strong this next season, and make it fast. And that is what Sterling does each year is show up, work hard, and get better. Bar, we've had a lot of kids that. Um, you know, they're new, they're, uh, they're green, they really haven't uh, played in a whole lot of you know, games in the big six, or really for that matter in varsity football games, but uh, it's, it's us as coaches to make sure we're, we're doing the things that we have to do out here in, in, uh, in early August to make sure that they're ready for those. And they are working to get nearly 100 kids ready for week one, a group that is not afraid to put in a hard day. And we always tell them, man, if you can do this, then you're going to be all right, because this is tough, you know. Um, Kids these days are, we, we still got some really tough ones here, and I know everywhere they, there's still some great kids out there playing this game, but uh, you can talk to any coach, there's no way to make this game easier. You know, you can't make football easier. It's impossible. If you want to be good, it, it, it takes a lot of hard work, and it's tough. So we're lucky that our kids, uh, for whatever reason, they buy what we sell them. You know, they listen, um, and, and we've, been, we've had some success because of that. A lot of success. A school with a deep tradition. A tradition that Sterling will be honoring with some special jerseys. Back in the 80s, uh, you know, back in the 80s, they only had one uniform in Sterling, and it was, it was a baby blue thing. So I think it's like 40 years. There was a really good team back in 83 and 84, and there's some really good teams back then. And um, been thinking about it for a while, and, and, and kind of goes back to the guys that, you know, really set the foundation for this program and, and what they meant to us. So I was lucky enough that, uh, you know, our, our, our administration was supportive of it. And, you know, maybe a thing we do a couple times a year, but it's, it's a really cool thing to kind of pay homage to you know some of the teams that, that, that came before these guys long before these guys before myself and um, just to honor that and I think some of those guys think it's pretty neat uh, you know that we're playing back in the day in those and some of this year's squad think they are pretty neat as well the baby blues uh, oh. how are you guys feeling about that I can't year? wait can't wait I like them a lot they're, they're pretty cool I, I like the throwbacks it's a definitely a new look a lot of people are surprised by what we're throwing on when we had our media day but whether it be baby blue or navy blue there is nothing like a Friday at Roscoe Eads Stadium. It's a different type of feeling that you want to get with any other sport, I think. Like, yeah, you can play basketball, looking around, you got everybody filling all the stands around you, but when you come out here, it's just you guys on that field just going at it. In Sterling, Kevin Core, KWQC, TV6 Sports. This Friday, TV6 will kick off a new season of the Highlight Zone. Join us at 10 o'clock for all the highlights from week one of the high school football season.